This is Betty. <laughs> Betty or milk cow? Miss Betty White. Yep. She's the provider around here. She turns she turns grass into uh, all the good stuff. <laughs> <coughs> milk, butter, cheese. What else have we done? We haven't done ice cream yet. But we will. Yeah. How long have we had her? Ten days? Been milking Betty for ten days? Yeah, something like that. So Betty came from a friend of ours and uh, she had a calf over there and we left the calf with him and we brought her home and started milking from day one pretty much. So have to keep everything pretty clean. I try to spread straw out every few days and uh, make sure she's nice and clean before we start. For me? Or for you? You want to talk about what this is? Uh, yeah, so he's using a teat and udder wash. Um, I got the recipe from Rose at Wholesome Roots and I'll actually link that. Um, but it's a it's a combination of Castile soap, um, uh, lavender essential oil, and Melaleuca essential oil and water, and it just helps to keep everything nice and clean and free from bacteria. So it's like a germicide or whatever. Yeah, it's antibacterial oh. or the antimicrobial antibacterial. That's what tea tree is good for. Mm -hmm. Actually, the both are, I think. But. Yeah. You want to? I know you felt it last night. Did you want to feel it again? Yeah. When it's full. Okay. Sure. Okay. Okay. Feel different. Yeah. So I usually uh, squirt just one or two squirts out. Because that's the uh, the first little bit it has the highest bacteria load, and it also um, causes her milk to let down. So yeah. I usually give her a little bit of a little bit of feed. Let me get some more, and I'll. Is this it? give her uh, alfalfa pellets to get her in here. She likes those quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I give her a little bit to start with just to get her into the milk stand while I clean her up and uh, and then I give her more so that she's content while I'm milking. Then I just try to get comfortable. So I start with the back ones first because they're the hardest ones to milk. So I try to get as much as I can out of the back. Because they're smaller. Yeah, they're smaller. I had to start tying her tail up because she was flicking me in the, flea, in the face <laughs> while I was milking. What do you think about the milk cow so far? I like her. What do you like about her? Um. I like that our kids are drinking raw milk and not having to drink pasteurized and getting that good bacteria. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's going to be more healing for their guts and 
I'm hoping I'm going to be able to drink milk now. Because I haven't been able to drink milk for years. And uh, the butter's really good. And we got buttermilk. And the biscuits were good. Yeah, yeah. those were good biscuits. Yeah. <laughs> Betty's going to make us fat. Yeah. We just decided. Yeah. She's given about two gallons a day, isn't she? Yeah. She's pretty good on the grass diet. I mean, that's all she gets is grass and alfalfa pellets. Yeah. Three choice kelp. This has been a good investment. This uh, this pot or whatever, whatever it's called, milk can. Yeah. Canister. Yeah, honey. Come in here. Close the door and come in. What do you think about Betty, Travis? It's good. It's good? Mm -hmm. You like her milk? Mm -hmm. can't do that all the time. She gives good milk, doesn't she? And Lila, she's watching. I still can't believe we have a dairy cow. Yeah. Can you? Mm -mm. It's something I've always wanted for some reason. A dairy cow. I mean, I'm not the one doing the milking, but it's just, it's, so far it's been easier than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Like. Yeah, she is easy. I mean, it's not, it's time consuming, <clears throat> and it's time consuming to do stuff with the milk, but it's. Yeah. I mean, it's worth it, but it's not as hard as I thought it was going to be, I guess, or something, I don't know. Yeah. And she's small. She's not, like, huge or anything. Yeah. Quiet. The other day when I was milking, she pooped and it went straight out that way and landed over there about the fence. Uh oh, it's right where you are. I was saying she could do that again. You're standing right in the bullseye. <laughs> what if you got pooped on by Betty? No. Would you like her as much? No. I don't like poop. Well, don't stand behind her, okay? <laughs> she wouldn't mean to. She wouldn't know you were back there. I like how she just came up here tonight. I know, that was unusual. I usually have to drag her out of the pasture. Not literally, but... Yeah. Yeah, don't send us hate mail. I have to sweet talk her out of the pasture, maybe. Maybe that's the better way to say yeah. it. She's not in the cage, honey. She's pretty smart. She started knocking these up and getting mm -hmm. getting out. Hey, Betty. Just standing right here, 
Two at the front. That's right. How I like that. That's how God made her. I like to drink some. Looks <laughs> good, doesn't it? I can just drink all of it. <laughs> There's a half a gallon. Halfway through. Here, yeah, because it feels like it's almost done. Mm -hmm. Like it feels totally different. But. Travis, why don't you come over here, honey? Keeps on coming. Tell Betty good night. Good night. Night, talking to Betty. I'll talk to Daddy too. I did. Stop, girl. All right, I'll let you stop. stop. You can go out. Daddy. Hi, Betty. Yeah, we got a lot of chickens this week, didn't we? Yeah. Guineas, chickens. Guineas, chickens. He said guineas, chickens. He said guineas and chickens. Hi, Hi. Hi, 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 Hi.